beer time, it's beer time with Beer Man. Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight? Today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world, uh, hatless today, as you can see, I have a bald head. Um, not that it really matters, but um, <laughs> um, for those of you that are here, thank you very much for show, uh, stopping by. thought I'd do a pop-up live. I wasn't really in a total mood to do a whole editing job here, so figured I'd do a little live review and uh, display uh, a a, I, I, I hope a good beer. <laughs> I've, I've never really heard of them. I saw them at my wife's brewery and uh, my wife's brewery. I'm in my wife's work and uh, and I, I didn't know if it was a uh, gluten free beer or not because they have gluten. It's a health food store and uh, not that it's a problem doing a gluten free beer, but <laughs> uh, but no, this these guys are uh, actually legitimate. They're the like the world's first organic brewery, I guess, is what they say. Um, let me get with the chat. And first of all, welcome everyone here. Um, hey, how's it, man? <laughs> What's up? Are you some nose? I haven't seen you forever. Dang, man. Good to see you here. Thank you, man. Appreciate you being here, man. Um, let's see how many times I can say man. Uh, all right, man. <laughs> it has been a while. Damn, dude. <laughs> Oh shit. Miscellaneous, what's up, dude? How you doing, bro? <laughs> nice. Cheers, dude. So um yeah, welcome, welcome chat here. Uh welcome everyone in my Facebook and Twitter land as well. Um I'm I'm reaching out to all three of you here, so the uh, hopefully this will uh, work out. Well, I won't be on too long tonight. I'll just a review, maybe talk with you guys, do whatever the hell, maybe get a little I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but uh yeah. In the back end, hanging out. Saw you went live. Nice. Nice, dude. <laughs> hey John, what's up, John man? What's up, John? Nilly. What's up, cheers? Hell yeah, getting ready to eat. I'll pop back later if I can get a chance to. No problem, my friend. No problem. No problem, man. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Okay, so to uh, start, this is the first organic brewery. They, they are uh, Pinkus Muller Brewery. It's out of that, out of Munster, Germany. Uh, brewery started in 1816. It's a family-owned and operated world fir world's first organic brewery. Um I mean, you would think that all beer is organic, but I guess they're the first organic brewery. Well, not, I don't know, I don't know if I'm right or wrong there or not. Um, Munster Alt, meaning older, original. That's an alt beer, um, older than German lager styles. It's an ale. Uh, it's not a lager. Uh, this style is a specialty of Westphalia, New Germany. Uh, it's a 5.1% ABV. The IBUs are not listed. Um, all boys are... Over here. Nice. Very cool, man. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate the support, man. Um, so this is a little look at them. Um, Pinkus Organic. This is their little German hut that they have there, little brewery. <laughs> Call it a hut, but a uh, little German brewery there and a uh, little lineup of their three beers that I've seen. I don't know if they have any other ones. That's their actual brewery on the outside, and that's the label and the beer that I'll be doing tonight, the red one. Um, so Munster Alt, uh, it's kind of looking forward to this actually. So let's pop back in. Let's get this beer out. I don't know a date on it or anything. Um, I drank some water to kind of clear my, I should have gotten a cracker or something. It works better than water, but, uh, I'm getting a sunburn on my head from the lights above. <laughs> Hold on. I got an itch. This is the best thing my wife ever got me. Okay. Most hated grower. What's up, man? Cheers, man. Thanks for being here, dude. All right, man. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, this is the beer. I'm going to show it on this cam in the live picture since 1816. Sweet. So let's go ahead and open this up. Just going to put it in this glass. We'll go ahead and put this in the... More cam and okay. right. oops. 
Where are we at here? Nice. Okay. Sometimes I forget I'm live. <laughs> so this is a, you know, it looks kind of like a deeper color, like a, like a looks like a blonde or something. Um, nice golden color. It's got a nice head, finger a little over a finger, finger and a quarter. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Finger and a quarter. Um, let's bring it up here. So we're going for the nose. Yeah, it's, it really does. It has actually a, uh, I want to say, uh, not a blonde. It has a uh, cream ale. Uh, kind of has a corn adjunct smell to it. Uh, creamy ale and, um, yeah. I'm a sweet floral, slight spicy, very uh, authentic German um, it looks like I'm looking over there, but I'm actually looking at my camera. Hey, I'm right there. No, it's uh, it's 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 got that German quality to it. Definitely that that uh, the 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 hops, the 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 four things that they use. They they just, they just kind of like they have they have their rules, right? <laughs> so it's definitely authentic smelling. It smells nice though. It's got a nice uh, fruity kind of fruity floral. Um, like a cider, cider and apple kind of fruitiness. The nice floral bouquet of like floralness. I don't know what's lacing's already starting up good there. Going around the side. It's not really sticking very well though. But a good uh, effervescent beer. It uh, probably could be a little colder to be honest. It's a little warm, probably 40, 50 maybe. That's all right. We'll get some more flavors out of it this way. Uh, effervescent as hell. I mean, that thing's roaring up. It's got a dull look to it. It's a golden color. A deep, kind of a darker, more murkier kind of a golden, uh, dirty golden color. Hey, color or whatever the hell. Uh, right on. Let's go for the cheer. The cheer. Let's go for a drink here. Oh, it's yeasty. It's yeasty. It's very yeasty. Um, uh, like an apple, apple, getting an apple in there. Floral, I get kind of a an earthiness in the back of the palate, on the back of the tongue. Dries off fairly, uh, kind of a medium dry finish. Uh, just nice and dry, kind of a light beer, light mouthfeel, light medium uh, body, uh, body, medium light body. Uh, mouthfeel's nice and crisp. It's actually, uh, if I close my eyes anymore, I'm going to look like Gar Gilbert Godfrey. Um, I just re realized how closed my eyes are. Looks like I'm sleeping. Um, a good beer though. It's, it's, it's a nice lighter beer. It's a, it's a good German light beer. It's a good, uh, lawnmower beer. It's a good, crisp, refreshing mouth, re mouth, like good. I don't know. Just a real good beer to drink on a hot day. Perfect for today. It's very hot. It's very, very hot. It's not very sweet. It's actually got kind of a dry off in the back. It goes on kind of somewhat sweet, but not super sweet. Um, but it does dry off, which kind of takes that away. Um, real, real pleasant beer to drink. It's 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 got some style to it. I, I kind of like that earthiness. It's really nice. It's got that German like yeastiness, German yeast kind of a feel to it, taste to it. Uh, almost has kind of a, there is a little bit of a, like a weird, like floral candy kind of uh, taste to it. It's good. I like it. Kind of, it tastes like a very light, like a super light version of, uh, and I shouldn't have put my foot in this because I can't remember the name of the beer. The Optimator is what it kind of reminds me of, but a very, very, very light version of it. Uh, not as strong. I mean, it's only 5.1. It's very sessionable. Very good. I can't tell, taste the difference between organic and non-organic. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, not a bad beer. Pretty good. Out of five hops, I'd give this, uh, 
I go with about four hops. For what it is, tastes like uh, what I was looking over and checking it out and seeing what it was all about, kind of seeing what they were, what they taste like, what their, uh, what you know, just their characteristics and everything else, their vitals, their st statistics and everything. Seemed like it was all within range, so I think a four is a good, uh, good, uh, a good, a good score to approach with this. So um, doing good. Good day. All right. Thank you, brother, for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Um, yeah, so that was good. I'm going to drink this beer and, like, chill with you guys for a little bit, man. I got another beer in the cooler. <clears throat> good beer, though. Definitely a four. It actually got a four on uh, Untapped, I think. Not that it really matters. Those scores are all crazy. Everyone scores things crazy. But, um, yeah. Hey, I finally got something for uh, for opening um, the foil off of the – well, it's for wine bottles, but beer bottles have it too. Kind of cool. That's like little razor blade things or like things. I finally got a fucking cork opener, man. I finally do it, dude. That other one was dumb. It hurt my hand. Hey, Cheryl, Mary, what's up? <laughs> what's up, ladies? All right, good to have you here. <laughs> so I did a good beer. did a good uh, Munster Alt, Alt beer. Uh, not bad, not a bad beer at all. Pinkest Brewery. Pinkest, 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 pinkest. There we go again. I'm enjoying a space dust with you, beer man and company. Cheers, Elbow 88. Good to have you here, man. Right on. I love space dust. That's a strong beer, man. <laughs> but a delicious one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Well, cheers. I'm going to drink with you, and I'm going to try and come up with them, some things to talk about. <laughs> so I've got um, – I can shout out some things. Uh, Bumpy Road Brewery's got the Golden Ale. Tomorrow at 5 o'clock uh, Pacific, 8 o'clock Eastern. I imagine, I don't know if, he, if he's back or not or yet, but um, I'm pretty sure he'll be there. Um, and let's see, Tuesday is my beer and cheese at 5 o'clock, same time. So if you guys want to be on, just let me know via Twitter, via email. You can find that on my About page, in my uh, YouTube channel. Um, you can get away with, you can get, you can get a hold of, get away with what? You can get a hold of me via Instagram, uh, however you got to do it. If you want to, just let me know and I'll give you the link and, uh, I'll let you on. No problem. I just don't want to throw the link out there. Uh, kind of keep it in the back. So, oh, look, there is a, I have a beard hair in my, look at that. Ew, dude, some beer hair in my beard. <laughs> Maybe I should have worn a hat. Wow. I'm going for the drink. <laughs> hey, what's up, beer barbecue baseball? What's up, man? All right, cheers, dude. <laughs> right on. I went haywire with all you guys. Uh, oh, I, I, with I'll, I'll finish what I was saying. I went haywire with all you guys earlier today. I was I, I like to shout you guys out all the time. So I like to shout out all the beer and the whiskey and uh, interesting things as well. You know, um, I like to uh, I like to support the community that I have. Uh, you guys are all great. So great supporters. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. So uh, Wednesday, actually, I'm going to be doing. Um, uh, for my for my recipe, I'm going to be doing a dry Irish stout. I've got a I've got a beer that is so easy to find; anyone can find it. I won't say it till Wednesday, but it's I might even find something else at my local bottle shop that's a little more on. But I'm sure you guys already understand what I got. Fuck it, I'll tell you. Uh, I got Guinness. <laughs> I got the Guinness uh, the uh, nitro stout one. I don't really like the nitro stout one so much. I might try and find another one. <laughs> no problem, man. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. I, I just, uh, I, I like, I don't know. I, I personally, I like to see uh, 
posts on my Twitter and my Facebook to be related to what I do, you know, uh, and it's no offense to anyone else. It's just, uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's beer. It's, I, I, I promote beer. It's what I love. It's what I, I think all of us that, that review beer and even whiskeys and your spirits, this, that we love those things or we wouldn't do them. So, um, it's good to promote it. I like the food channels too. I like every channel, man. I like all the channels. All you guys are cool. <laughs> I even like watching the scratchers too. And, uh, I like seeing when they win big. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, yeah. So cool beer. Oh yeah. It's got a little lemon, like a little, uh, I miss that kind of a lemon as it warms up. It's getting a lemon. Hey, this is interesting. I'll just taste this and kind of give you notes as we go. Cause as it warms up, all beers get kind of different flavors in them running through them. You know, I'm getting like a lemongrass herbalness. I was getting the herbal in the back before, but now I'm getting, as it warms in my hand and just out in the, it's so hot today. As you guys all know this, right? It's so hot. I think it's hot in every part of the U S uh, even Canada and South America and everywhere else. But <laughs> Elbow cough. <laughs> Hey, oh, and cannabis. I have to do that. I do like to, I, I actually, um, I actually do, uh, I do like to promote cannabis, especially like on my Twitter feeds and stuff like that. I'm part of the normal thing and all that. And I like to uh, promote legalization and, uh, and stuff. So it, uh, we're, we're on the verge of getting there for all you that support cannabis. But, um, Yeah. I won't smoke weed on this though, <laughs> um, but just to kind of keep them separate. But yeah, definitely most hated grower, man. Cheers, man. You got a great, you got a great live live show. I, I kind of, I, I need to get there. <laughs> you guys are always going in the morning when I'm waking up. Um, where are you guys at? Are you guys on my side or on the east? You don't have to say exactly. Just uh, like sides, east, west coast. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're some uh, great guys. Uh, cool dudes. They, they, they smoke pot. They love pot. They grow pot. Uh, of course, uh, um, you know, just, uh, I don't know. Good people, good, good guys. So fun to hang out and go see them and, uh, smoke weed with them. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Hey, yeah, let's see. Lemongrass. Yeasty, malty. Can't tell what kind of malts. I want to say there's probably. This kind of has a biscuity. There's a biscuit in there, and there's also a cracker. So there's probably some pilsner in there. Probably got some pilsner in there. Uh, New Mexico. Wow, man. Oh, I could. I should have known that from your, from your logo. Geez, that's the next New Mexico flag. I used to live there for like six months. In uh, Albuquerque, the play, land of entrapment. <laughs> Once you're there, you can't get out. Oh, it was a fun experience, though. <laughs> you do rock. <laughs> Blake, what's up, Blake TV, man? What's up, brother? All right, man. <laughs> I'm just shooting the shit. Sunday night, I got bored. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what a burp. Bah. Cheers, everyone. I don't even know if uh, – let me go back to this. Oh, there we go. I can't see it. <clears throat> oh, no. I forgot to let my dogs in. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Let me yell at them one. Hey, I'll be right back. I got to let my dog out. He's going to annoy the crap out of me. Hold on. He No, he seriously, he, he does a – when he's outside – He's inside, but he's locked in the gate. The other one gets through the gate. The, the, we have a kid door, and he always busts through it. He's a little, uh, little smaller dog. I don't even know how he does it. He's a little bulldog. But um, the other guy, <laughs> he's barking right now because he can't get out. He's a mastiff, bull mastiff. And uh, <laughs> he, he does a code thing. He does a code thing, a bark code. So he'll start with a woof. And then he'll do a woof woof, and then if he gets he gets impatient, so woof 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 woof, 
Like he, it's like he's trying to tell you, and it gets louder and louder and louder. So I gotta, I gotta let him in, man. It's like across the room. Um, I'll be right back. I'm sorry to do this to you guys. Hold on, let me shout you guys. Or let me uh, put these up real quick. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Hey Mary, <laughs> good to see Obo. It's good to see Blake and Miscellaneous. All you guys, man. Thank you so much, man. Most hated grower, beer barbecue baseball, Cheryl Crawford. Oh, yeah, man. This is great. Good day. Lone Star, I didn't see you there. Are you so nosy? It's good to see you. Wow. Awesome, man. If I missed anyone, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I promise. I'm going to mute me real quick, though, just in case I have to lay some rules down. I don't even know why he's barking. He's already out of the cage. I must have let him out. Um, I will, miscellaneous. Um, yeah, I might. I I have about an hour and a half or it's two hours before my wife gets home. So um, I just get kind of laid up here in the house. It's so hot. I don't want to go outside, you know. So, um, hey, uh, Elbow. I, since you're here, I, I I have already I've talked to someone also about this as well, and I I'm trying to put together kind of a musical medley. Uh, I would like uh, even like it would be really neat to have um, um Jeremy Jeremy V there Jeremy 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 Vincent. Uh, he's also a very good uh, uh, musician. I know Thrash plays guitar. I, I'm just trying to put together a musical panel. Um, not, not in the sense, like, I want to do beer reviews before, right? But then I want to kind of, but it would be like more of a premiere. So it would be like something I edit. Um, get the, uh, you know, I've got some ideas, but um, I don't want to let it out there. But uh, get up with me, uh, comment, and I'll comment back or whatever the hell, and I'll let you know what my plans are if you're interested. It, it's, it's a musical kind of, you take it, you play it, you give it to me, I take it. I play it with you, and then at the end, I kind of equalize it and make the sound all good, and uh, and hopefully it all works out in the end. But um, I would like to put something like that together. So I've got a, I've got one in mind already that's interested. So if you want to do that, let me know. I think it'd be really fun. So you play keyboards. I've got uh, I've even got a drummer. Well, he plays guitar. That's the guy I'm thinking of now that I've already talked to, uh, Thomas Metal, and then. Um, and uh, I know Th I haven't talked to Thrash, but if he's down and wants to play some guitar also, uh, whatever, you know, it, it just, it just be kind of a thing, you know, uh, like a premiere on a time when I'm not doing a live. I can put it up on my like Thursday or something like that or a, or a weekend or something on Sunday or do a premiere. So, yeah, let me know. Uh, comment and uh, and I'll hit you back and get you back. Well, I won't really hit you, but <laughs> but I'll, I'll get back with you and uh give you the details so um yeah i'll talk with uh, everyone else as well but cool the reason i want to do it that way is because the synchronization is so off you know what i mean with bandwidth and uh how things get all skittish and weird so you could play the triangle <laughs> that's great that's awesome, actually. At the right time, that's perfect. <laughs> Love it. Good day, man. That's great. <laughs> I'll let you in there, man. Hell yeah, dude. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any music or anything. It's kind of boring, huh? Just trying to finish this beer. <laughs> Oh man. So we'll uh yeah, we'll get up. And uh Alex the bear Alex the beer master, I like to go to his thing on Fridays as well. He does his the same time, five o'clock, so eight o'clock Eastern. I think this uh this week is chicken salad sandwich. So that sounds kind of good. Bring your own beer and uh chicken salad sandwich. So um Wild Car Wednesday, Ron Therio at 420. 
uh, I believe, and I think I finally have the the uh, the chat that allows me to see the link. <laughs> uh, I always get in there too late and screw up, but I love I love finding a I like getting a, finding a time Blake TV and Blake TV as well um, and find you know getting on his thing and beer chugs after my uh, Wednesday, <clears throat> um, and uh, and then Friday is Blake TV and then of course uh, Rajay Beer Ventures is always throwing up some lives. Live preview, you know, live, uh, not preview, live, uh, live or, um, uh, live beer reviews and stuff like that. So it's, it's kind of, uh, I, I'm always missing them. So I have to go back and check stuff. <laughs> but, um, uh, just trying to shout out some people here. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Well, this was a good, good little, uh, fun one here. I, I, I hope. Uh, good beer. Not too bad. Very German like. Oh, yeah. Very German-esque. Very nice. I liked it. It was a good beer. Um, cool. <coughs> cool. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Call it. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your support and for coming and checking this out. Please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe. Hit that button. Make it red. Make it from red to gray and hit that bell. You'll be notified when I have new shows up. Um, and, uh, yeah, that would be great. Share it out to your communities. Do your thing. If you can, if you will, if you may. You know my little sayings. If you've listened to them, you know them. Um, I say the same thing all the time, right? It's in my head. It's memorized. All right. Have a good night, day, wherever you're from this world. All right. I'm going to swig this down real quick. Very tasty beer. It's even better when you drink it fast like that. Mmm. Really, really, really good. Okay, everyone. Cheers. I'm out. Out. Okay. Woo! 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 Uh.